Hello and welcome to the channel again. Fan friends everywhere, thank you for tuning in. It's good to be back and with the current crisis going on, I had enough time to catch up with everything and start recording again. So let's start easy and this video is about my collection updates. And if I'm going to glance my eyes on this laptop in front of me is because I want to be as articulated as I can because not recording for so much time has dampened my recording skills. So since the last video, I had sold some pens and yes, rarely I do sell some of my personal collection pens and I bought some new ones. So let's start first with the ones that I sold. So we have four pens that left my collection. Two of them were sold to a fellow pen collector and good friend of mine. And two of them were listed on the new on consignment section on the Penventure website. So the first pen in question from the two that I sold to a fellow collector is none other than the Visconti Wall Street in stacked celluloid blue. A very nice pen that I cherished a lot. A limited edition pen made from stacked celluloid, stacked celluloid. I will insert some photos for the pen and it's a piece that I haven't reviewed on the channel for all of you, but I promise you at one point we will have one of these pens and we will review it for all of you. The second pen that left my collection is a pen that I really, really loved to own and was very hard to find and probably won't have another one anytime soon. That pen is none other than my Denny Trio Sho Genkai. Sho standing for short Genkai. For this one, I have recorded a video review. So if you want to see more of this pen, I will leave you a link for that review here or here. And you can check the review and see the pen in all aspects and details. And just to give you an roughly way of thinking for me, that pen left a void in my collection, which I'm going to find a way to fill again. And I'm thinking at deciding if I'm going to pull the trigger on another very interesting pen. And just to give you some hints, it's big, it's coated in red Urushi and has a proper name. So if you want to guess this pen that's going to be in my collection, leave your guesses in the comment section below. So moving forward, we have two pens that were listed on the Penventure new on consignment section. And those pens were one Visconti Opera Honey Almond, Again, I don't have any reviews for that pen. And my Aurora 88 Flex. Again, for that pen, I don't have any review recorded. Probably we will have another one of those pens and we will record another video for it. Moving forward, on the good side, I had acquired two new pens. And those pens are really nice and I did use them a lot more than the other pens that I sold. So I have them with me here. Let's start with the first one. And this is the Leonardo Art Deco Grande. This is part of the Momento Zero Grande collection. It's a limited edition of only 30 pieces for each color. And if I'm not mistaken, there are five or six colors. It's made out of ebonite. It has this unique pattern of gilo shade going on the body. And it's lovely. And I do enjoy using this pen a lot. I have on it a very special nib, which is a prototype nib from Leonardo. It is a double broad nib. And only two of these nibs were ever made. Both of them were in my collection and I sold one and the one I kept for a very nice pen like this Art Deco. We will have a review for this pen very soon. The second pen arrived just a couple of days ago and it's a very interesting piece because it's classic. It's made out of celluloid. And to be honest, I was very skeptic of pulling the trigger on one of these pens 
but in this particular case, one of my clients wanted one of these pants, and this is a Stipula Etruria, made out of a very interesting and nice celluloid. And my client decided to let me buy this pant for him, so I have this pant for a few weeks to play with it, and if it's worthy enough to be in my collection, I'm probably going to pull the trigger in the future for this pen as well. Again, we will have a review for it very soon and you will see the pen in depth. I think it's enough for this video. Let's leave some for the next one. In the next video, I have prepared for all of you three pens that share one thing in common, exclusives. I hope you enjoyed my comeback video. For more content or videos, subscribe to the Pen Venture YouTube channel. If you want to be updated with everything going on at Pen Venture, please follow the Instagram page at insta.emi or Pen Venture on Instagram. And again, if you're looking for your next fond pen, paper, or ink, visit the Pen Venture website at www pan-venture.com. My name is Emmy and I look forward to seeing you next video.